I, I'm interested in tuning in your ticker. Um, and that I mean I'm interested in heart health. Now, if I tell you about heart health, your, your imagination will automatically spin to old people or people that are middle-aged, but it's just not true. We're, we're seeing evidence of children as young as seven years old having diseased blood vessels, having poor heart health, and we think that this is related to the poor lifestyle decisions that they're making today. And, and there are a number of these, but we don't know which one is most important. It could be how physically active they are. It could be what they're eating. It could be how much sleep they are getting, or it, it could be how fat they are. We need to focus our attention in one direction. And I, I, know, I wanna know what that direction is. At the moment, we're doing a nationwide study in um, children age eight to 10 years old. We're going into schools and we're, we're testing each of these things. We're, we're te testing their physical fitness. We're sending surveys home so the parents can tell us what they're eating and, and how much they are sleeping. And then in the schools, we also measure what their, their body composition is like, as, as well as taking different measures of their heart health and their, their metabolic health, like things like blood glucose and how much of the bad fats they have inside their bloodstream. We know, for instance, in the United States, that children, the children of today are not expected to live as long as their parents. There was a landmark study several years ago saying they're not gonna live as long as their parents. There's no reason to believe that these trends are gonna be happening just in the United States. Kids are living poorer and poorer lifestyle. Something's got to change, and we need to know where we're gonna focus our efforts to ensure that that doesn't happen here, or at least we can reverse that trend.